Okay, well the closing number is always the same now. Sorry, I'm not doing your lovely song justice. Look at these strings and I maybe even older than you are. <laughs> um, um, and you can tune them up, but you know, the next time around it's just a dull third, you know. <laughs> anyway. Why oh, yeah. the microphone stand is collapsing tonight. <laughs> Where does the sun? the sun go to night. No. Uh. <laughs> 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 I mean, the string light in tune, so yeah. <gasps> Harmonic is never going to sound right. That's a one, two, three, four.
as she lay her head Is she like me? Sleeping tight with dreams dancing round my bed Emily, what are you pondering there? Oh, Emily. One of the uh, myriad of dollies that I bought you, my darling. You must have been about three there, I guess, huh? So I think this was a, a set, wasn't it, I bought you? So it's a push chair, the teddy bear and the doll, and then the... Um, one of those is a baby Emmy. I think that might be the baby Emmy there. Oh, my precious angel. Oh. Emily, you are going to be such a wonderful parent yourself. I, I feel happier in here knowing that somewhere down the line that's, that's going to be children, I'll use plural, blessed with a mother as wonderful as you, and Dylan as well, what an amazing family you're going to be when you grow up as well. <laughs> The other piece of advice I might give you, Emily, is... <laughs> Since you're a musician yourself... If you think about the amount of hours that Daddy spends moaning about the strings and trying to get the strings in tune, when he could just put a new set on. Um, that's just ingrained in me from when I was a street player, and there was no way to... Well, there wasn't any way and stuff, you know. You would just keep the strings as long as possible. You know, you're talking... Uh, I well, I was going to say the turn of the century is a joke, but of course it's a new century. Now you're talking... 81, I guess, somewhere like that. We all used to do it in our guitar bags. We used to... If you had a string snap and everything, they'd all be curled up here, you know, in case it snaps and you still had a chance of a bit of leeway on that. And you could, but also you could get some good tunings from them as well, you know. But of course if the two of you were in a duet, it was a nightmare. I remember Steve and me being left-handed and Steve being right. And him sitting there going, what is it with you and your strings? <laughs> And he just kept the match, you know, so by the time he got the match so we could start the song, you know, I didn't want to play it anymore, you know, the gig was over, you know. And then I sort of go, oh, I don't know, no, leave the strings alone, he'd be going, don't, don't, don't. But you see there, see, that's not really where it should be. But you see, there's just a... When you want it to be less, I mean that's sharp on the B, but I kind of, I just like the sound. I don't know if anyone else likes it. But when you start working it out, working around it, you see. So as people are following it, it doesn't, well, it doesn't sound, you know. And it says,
So if you play like uh, that, but then if you do it up there, Mr. Blackster there, no sleep for you. stuck in the tunnel there. You're supposed to roll it along and they go boop boop boop. But uh, it was the juice of a job to get it to go there, Dale. And uh, the laughing Santa. Shortly after this video, I guess, I, I probably bought about 20 of those little door wedges. And 
Because just you've grown interested in doors then. And I was like, oh, it's going to drop its fingers in them. So, <laughs> there then came a point where all the doors I had, the one was wedged in. I have these triangle things from both sides, you know, so you couldn't move the doors, you know. You would not get your finger caught in the door. Oh, this is your, um, oh, what were they called? Two, two drivers. I'm, I'm a little fire engine. So this will be Christmas 2013. Emily, you weren't with us yet. You were still two months away. Tuning, I'm getting all kinds of Stockhausen tunings. Not even your first guitar, Dale, that was your second guitar. You did love that sound, didn't mate. The first time, though, we turned it on, so when you squeeze it, you were like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You were like, whoa. What's, what's this all about? I don't know if I'm too pleased with this. Because he vibrated as well. <laughs> ah, there we are. So I've already got that in advance. Oh, I'm spoiling all your fun that I'm saying by wedging the doors up. can play of the blues because every time I do a blues number on uh, YouTube now they go that infringes someone's copyright. You know, I mean it's been around for like a million years that riff. That's one other advantage to using my weird tunings. <laughs> well he's filming me I suppose I better look as though I'm enjoying it but really I'm not too sure about this. so quick to tell people I'm not enjoying myself. I once played a nightclub. I can see it now, I know where it's to, but I can't remember the name of it. It was down in Taunton. And I'd driven all the way down there and I checked my hat in. Uh, at the, this was an actual nightclub and I checked my hat in the little hatch there. Good. Went in. To the guitar right, and did what I, I used to do, you know, just. Hey there, mate, what are you after? Check out the sound balance, and I saw some of the people coming in. I, you know, I mean, I was already in anachronism, maybe at that point. You're talking mm, 88, maybe. 88 or 89. Uh, I guess. It was all the big puff sleeves and everything. Uh, you don't know. I mean, <laughs> you're only 11 now <laughs> in 2023. Wow. Uh, but anyway, so I checked it and I went in with guitar, just a little, not flat case, but a bag. And <laughs> sound in the room, mate, you know, bass. And I 
I saw people come in and I, oh, so I put the guitar in the back, went down, I had my number ticket, you know, and I'm like, and the girl behind, because there still people coming in, and the girl, I said, oh, yeah, yeah, you're thinking, I was just showing that I've got a ticket. And I was going, yeah, yes, all right, she's going, and I said, no, I want my coat. I said, I want my coat. <laughs> One leave nine, the show was due to start at, doors were opening at nine, this was five past nine. So she went and got my coat, she handed it over, on the bounce of the dawn when he said, you're off. I said, yeah, I said, it's bleep in there. Oi! <laughs> All the crowd going in, you know, paying that £3.50 or whatever. And there's one of the act walking out saying, it's crap in there. Or words to that effect. Hey, mate, should we jam? As I remember this, you could press it down like that. I think it maybe had three levels. I think it had three different lights up there. And I think there was some a drum sound on it as well. Inquisitiveness, you know that you've stood up to this day. It'll serve you in good stead throughout life, mate. <sighs> we had such a great time together, mate. This looks like my Hammer Horror limited edition DVD box that were figurines. <laughs> What's going on here? What is that to tell me? I need to know. I'm getting engrossed in this every time I watch these back, you know, I just... <sighs> Quicksilver memories. Anyway, Dylan Lemley, Dad loves you very much. Maybe two in the world. You are my heart, my soul, my joy, my essence, my raison d'etre.